To her thousands of followers, she's the controversial sex coach with wild ideas on female empowerment. Only now, she's been charged for allegedly assaulting a census worker who was just trying to do their job. Hello there, I am Kimanami and I am a holistic intimacy and relationship expert. She's the sex coach with a lot to say. So my job is to open you up from every possible angle. But Kim, whose real name is Kim Horolak, is not opening up today. Kim, anything to say about the charge you're facing today? What's... Police allege this is a what serious is charge. What? It's very bizarre. I haven't seen anything like this in my career. Kylie Lang is associate editor of the Courier Mail newspaper. She basically is saying that uh, if women harness the power of their vaginas, that their lives will magically improve. But I can't, don't think this has happened for her. I mean, she's been in court on serious assault charges. Is there anything you'd like to say to the census collector who accused you of this crime, Kim? Police allege Kim Horolak assaulted a census worker who came to her house here on North Stradbroke Island last August. Court documents claiming that when the census worker arrived, Canadian-born Kim pretended she didn't speak English. So the worker gave her a brochure with details about interpreters. It was then, she alleges, Kim lost it, abusing her verbally with a string of swear words before attempting to shove the brochure down her shirt front. My client does not wish to conduct her defence on the street in front of television cameras. Kim left it to her solicitor, Terry O'Gorman, to defend her. Police allege that you verbally abused her and then tried to shove something down her top. Is that the case? Chris, I've made it quite clear that my client does not wish to conduct her defence on the street with television cameras. Maybe she did just have a bad day, who knows? But it has to be pretty bad if you're going to allegedly assault someone, a census worker, for doing their job. We approach the alleged victim of Kim's assault, who also lives on Stradbroke Island, but she declined to comment at this stage. Kim, can I ask you then, were you just having a bad day? Was that what sparked this altercation? Chris, please do not be provocative. I've made it quite clear she does not wish to discuss the matter at all. Women all over are taking their power back, not only in the bedroom, but in all sorts of arenas. This isn't the first time Kim has found herself in the middle of a controversy. When she made this video about the need for women to strengthen a certain part of their anatomy, she got slammed online for being culturally inappropriate. But the cultural appropriation, the exoticism of Asian women, the Orientalism, it has to stop. It, it honestly disgusts me. The point is you completely misrepresented Asian culture and people. I wanted to take this opportunity to let anyone know who was offended by the video that I've I thought long and hard about this. Kim's response to the online storm is this fake apology. You cowards can go yourselves because that is the medicine that anyone having such a hysterical reaction to a bunch of hot chicks doing kung fu kicks really needs. That video was offensive to a number of people and I can understand that. Worse still, commentator Kylie Lang says the whole idea of empowering women by the bizarre and for some possibly dangerous exercising of a body part is even more offensive. Well, we get an eyeful of something we probably shouldn't have to see. Uh, I also think that it's just, um, it's just so bizarre and ridiculous. And people in this day and age should really know better, shouldn't they? Kim, this isn't the first time I guess you've faced controversy. You've been accused of making racist and inappropriate videos. Anything you'd like to say about that, Kim? Online, Kim says her videos have had 100 million views and she's listed as owning two million dollar homes and a block of land on North Stradbroke Island in Moreton Bay off Brisbane, which is where the alleged altercation with a census worker took place. The matter now listed for mediation. She seems to be a person who is not afraid to stand up for herself and anybody who dares to criticise her, she takes them down ruthlessly. Normally quite vocal online, Kim. You sure you don't want to say anything? 
And at this stage, no date has been listed for the mediation regarding that alleged assault.